Alright, hi guys. Um, just quickly doing a kidding floor, a uh, little kind of tips and tricks for the medic class. And basically, in general stuff. Now, I haven't actually been playing this game very long, so I'm definitely not as good as some people are, obviously, anyway. But um, I decided that since this is basically the exact same rules as every other zombie game, but there's like little tips and tricks I've learned. I decided I'll just may as well do a little, you know, basically tutorial thingy, but um, I'm just going to be commenting on why I do stuff and just in general why. So, um, first thing you'll notice is that right now I'm not actually aiming down my sights, uh, for, you know, for those first few clock kills, and the reason why I was doing that is that even though in this game there's no hip fire, the bullets go to the centre of the screen, it isn't like a, um, it will, they will go to the center of the screen, you guys, really accurate. So, wherever your center of your screen is, you shoot, they will go there. So as long as you get, you know, good shot there, you'll be able to uh, have the added, you know, movement bonus, which of course is always handy in zombie things, but also you'll be able to still get, you know, headshots every time. Now, that's a lot harder than it sounds, which I understand, but, you know, once you get used to it, you can start to aim really good at your scope, just easy. Now, second thing, First thing I would get is the lever action rifle. Because this thing's awesome. It's just awesome in the first round. So there's no other way to put it. It's just brilliant the first about seven waves and a long one. For the normal anyway, but of course in the higher ones it's outdated you faster. Now, the reason why that is a really, really awesome gun is that number one, on basically everything you'll find for the first four waves. It's one shot kill if you want to hit or get hit on the head. Uh, the only thing it's not on is scrapes and the blood pounds. So that, that's the only thing it won't get one shot on. So it, that's why it's awesome. So as long as you've got a good shot, you can, you know, 10 bullets, that's 10 headshot kills on whatever you want. Now, of course, you know, you might miss a bit, but still, that's going to get you a lot of kills. Second thing is this reload ability. Now, although it's a rifle, it's, and it's one shot reloading, which you think usually is not a, not a very good thing at all. Guns on this game, if you're reloading, uh, say your pistol, and then something attacks you, you have to wait until it's finished reloading, until you can actually, you know, pull out another gun or use that gun to shoot them. Which, you know, that, that can get annoying. The thing with this is, as you can see here, I can start reloading and then break it any time I want and still get an accurate shot. Uh, and of course, unlike basically any other gun on the game, there are a few, you know, like the, uh, 44 back and Kim Bar I noticed that you can come off the uh, or you can stop that from going by switching to another pistol, stuff like that, but to be honest, nowhere near as good as the uh, lever action rifles reloading thing, because it you know, lets you fire so quick. And the third and final thing about the lever action like the lever uh, lever lever action uh, lever action rifle, there we go. It's awesome, it's because it's a lever action rifle. It's Although it's got a relatively slow rate of fire compared to, you know, if you compare it to, say, a machine gun, that slow rate of fire is because it's ha each one of its bullets will do a lot more damage than a machine gun bullet. You'll see later on when I tr switch to my um, other class for later on. But anyway, for now, as you can see, it's, you know, they're using pistols and machine guns, and it takes them sometimes up to five to six bullets if they get them all on target and they just do a quick spray onto a, you know, clot or something. And of course, the lever action rifle is only one shot, and if you know, put it into gunshots, that means for about a clip of ammo, they'll get about five clots. A uh, clip of ammo for that thing, and that's about, what, ten? So, you know, pays off. Uh, but, the, but the important thing is, is that the reason why I'm using the pistol right here is because the lever action, lever action rifle is all good, apart from a close combat. That's where it really sucks. Because of course it's relatively slow rate of fire, it can't get stagger effect on the enemies, which is the thing where when you shoot them, you'll notice sometimes they slow down a bit. That's because that's stagger effect on the bullets. Now of course their reaction rifle doesn't do this because it's too powerful. A pistol, on the other hand, if you hit them in the chest, they'll you know, start jolting around a bit. And that's why machine guns in this game are. That's why they bet. You know why, why not? Why not always choose their reactions because they get the stagger effect. Um, but apart from that, it's a pretty all rounded gun. Now, I just bought the hand cannon, and that is why, that's the, that's the makeup for the lever action rifle. Now, the lever action, 
fireworks from my food is quite a heavy gun. In fact, it's a really heavy gun. <laughs> but I believe it's worth it. But anyway, that's why I get the hand cannon, which is a very powerful sidearm. Money. Oh god, I forgot about this guy. Yeah, sorry. This guy's. I don't know. I think he can't speak English very well, so he does this shout for money for ages. But anyway, um, it's okay right now. The reason why I got the hand cannon again is so I can, you know, pluck off the enemies that were really close. Because in an ideal scenario, we would never get that close, but in reality, we're not. Cause especially because the, they jumped down from the roofs on this map. That's similar for a lot of other maps, the invisible ones, the um, crawlers. You know, I can't remember what the invisible one's name's called. <sighs> anyway, um, the crawler, what the crawlers, and the invisible thing people, they'll obviously get up to you pretty easily. The lighter enemies, the lighter specials, say um, the guys with the rocket flamers on their arm, but I can't remember their name either. I feel like a retard, not knowing all these names. Uh, of course, there's the sirens, the screaming people, in case you don't know what they are. It's kill them usually about a clip. So, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good about really you won't be using it on the weaker enemies that sneak up on you, so like the clots, the um, clots, I think. Guys with the arms, yeah, I'll the sword for an arm. I'm pretty sure they're husks, but anyway. Um, so yeah, them and the invisible people and the uh, crawlers. So it's all it's good against all of them. Anything else is you know meh meh. May struggle a bit, but still, it's still a pretty all rounded gun. And of course, don't forget we always get your nine millimeter. Can't get rid of it. May as well keep it. And it is a remember if you see a weapon just grab it if it's worth a lot because basically this class relies on making lots of money because there's uh, six and seven rounds which means you have to be able to pick up expensive guns and just you know use it I don't know why I should ask this guy there was a reason why I remember there's a reason why this guy's being a douche and I shot him anyway um that's guy really annoying me I don't know why I shot him anyway um what was I even Start a new subject. How about zombie moving tactics? Now, zombies in this game are pretty similar to every other zombie thing I've ever seen in my entire life ever. It's pretty, they're pretty much all the same thing. They have slow movements, so in general they're pretty slow. Apart from, of course, the um, crawling and the invisible people, I believe, are quite fast. Well, and of course, the flesh bands and scrapes when they get you know pissed off. Now. Uh, now I'm going to stop here because this is one really important movement tactic. Get really close to that guy because his real damage is that flamethrower thing. And he won't use it if you get really close. You get point blank with him and just spray him in the face with a hand cannon. That will screw him up pretty bad. Um, and I failed to do it there but that guy had a very...
very slow melee. So all you can do is you can just shoot him in the face a few times, he'll start to swing, you can dodge back and go back forward. I do do this at another point so you will see it. Uh, another point where I don't fail at it, I think I do it several times in fact, because I was getting people fighting that guy quite a bit. But yeah, also with this loadout, it's pretty important to know what you're going to be fighting really. Your targets are usually the weaker ones, not the scrakes and the um, flesh pounds. You're taking out, you know, these guys with this loadout, the sirens, the clots, but you know what, you don't want to be taking out the big guys. Um, but at this point, as I was saying before, up to round four, you should be all good with that type of stuff. I think Scrakes come next round on normal, so I think that's where you start to get updated, because of course, apart from the hand cannon, the lever action rifle, you really doesn't do that much with Scrakes. It's assets real down for, it can't do much to the big guys. But apart from that, it's a pretty, you know, running gun, that's why I use it, but anyway. Also, I always use the medic perk. I love the medic. Not sure why, I should really try some other classes out. Anyway, um, I love the medic class, I think it's a brilliant class because there's loads of reasons, but the main ones are you get a speed increase, I think at level 4, which I am here, it's 15% speed increase, which of course lets you run away from a lot of more enemies, <laughs> which is a pretty handy part of having, you know, being fighting zombies. Uh, also, you get a big discount on armor, I don't know if you can see, but the armor is really cheap for me. Um, that's because I think it's a 40%. No, 50% discount, and it's 40% better. That's awesome. Of course, there's the standard medic guns, 83% health for uh, level 4s, but meh, I don't really use medic guns, even though I should really. But I prefer to you know, use the medic class for his killing. And also, of course, you gain your really good uh, medic things, so you can use it on yourself and others, and it's really effective. So, like, you know, really more potent, recharges so fast, you can keep yourself alive. Now, I finished that little one. Anyway, um... Stay away from jewels, basically. 